We want to share an update on our WYFF News 4 family tonight. As you know, in December, our dear friend and colleague Jeff Hart stepped away from the anchor desk for a bit. He needed a reboot from a decade of early mornings. and He wanted to get some answers to his puzzling medical issues. Well, tonight, he has those answers. Jeff and his wife, Sarah, sat down recently with our Jane Robolo, who joins us now. Jane. Well, Carol and Michael, we know what a strong connection viewers have with Jeff over his 28 years here with the WYFF4 family, and Jeff does too. So it was very important for him to be able to tell his story and share his story with the community. Hey God, thank you so much that you did not make us reality TV stars because we would be the worst. Jeff and Sarah Hart like to share, and they've never hesitated to share their active, delightful family with WYFF4 viewers. I think your family has the most perfect name that y'all are the hearts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is it? Humble. Active. Humble, active. Respectful. Respectful. And trustworthy. And trustworthy. And all of those traits stand on a firm foundation of faith. Now, even as they face their greatest trial, they're inviting us in once again. Jeff says that since about 2017, he's noticed something. Words just wouldn't come. It was perplexing for the seasoned journalist, but he battled through. And then um, last fall, then thing, things started to really unravel in the fall. What do you mean unravel? Define unravel. Well, um, I look at the, you, you, I was working with you a little bit, and I would look up in the teleprompter and I like, I know what that word is, but I can't speak it. Simple, simple things. And I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. So I went to see our general manager, John Humphreys. I think that was early September, and I said, I don't know what's wrong with me, but there is something wrong with me. And he's, he's amazing, like everybody else. And um, mm, that's, uh, yeah, that was the beginning of the journey. Yeah. He was supportive. Oh. <laughs> Were you scared, Jeff? Oh, and I didn't know what it was. Mm -mm. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. So, you start, but I, I have tears, but I have tears because so many unbelievable people, so many people, so many great people to work with, from our general manager to in December, with the full support of WIFF4 and Hearst Corporation, Jeff decided to put morning news on pause, catch up on sleep, and get a definitive diagnosis. But it didn't come quickly or easily. After months, their prayers were answered when they connected with the vice chair of neurology at Emory University. He gave Jeff a series of cognitive and physical tests. And then Dr. James Law got the test back last week and the news was hard to take. Then on Friday, they told us, but we were ready for it. What did they tell you on Friday? Yeah, he just said it is Alzheimer's. Early onset Alzheimer's. Hard to diagnose because Jeff is young and in top physical shape with no family history. He and Sarah had to wonder if a decade of early mornings and little sleep was a factor. So with their permission, I asked Dr. Law. And what I told Sarah and Jeff is that, yeah, it's possible. I can't rule that out as a contributing factor, but I certainly don't believe that his, um, his um, uh, sleep habits or schedule um, caused his Alzheimer's disease. I think that's exceedingly unlikely. So you won't be coming back on the air? I, well, you can see what it's doing to me already. So um, I would love to have finished it out than my contract, but uh, about 28 years is pretty good as well. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I couldn't do it. When you called and told me mm -hmm. initially what y'all thought that it was, mm -hmm. you said- I made you cry. You did, you made and me cry. And then you made me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Got your back, didn't I? <laughs> you said, I'm, I'm, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I said, how can you say that right now? Mm -hmm. Because it's so easy to say. And just like your great friends, you have a wonderful family, got an incredible wife. 
there you have it. Yeah. Who's going to cry about that? <laughs> A lot of the, the tears are good tears. Jeff says that his prayers that the progression of the disease will be slow. And his doctor tells me that there's a promising new drug that will be coming out soon that would do just that, and that Jeff is a great candidate for that drug. Now, the Hearts want to continue to share their story because they hope that their story will help encourage other people. For Jeff, it's always about others. Carolyn Michael. Mm. Jane, thank you. We as a TV station, WYFF4, have made a donation to the Alzheimer's Association in Jeff Hart's name. And if you would like to join us in giving, you can send that donation to alz.org slash sc. And if you'd like to reach out to Jeff, send your own well wishes, please do so in care of Jeff Hart, WYFF4, 505 Rutherford Street, Greenville, South Carolina, 29609.